Hello and welcome to the in-depth series of Drishya IS. My name is Pooja Divedi. Today we are going to discuss the elimination of measles and rubella in India. Many children die because of measles and rubella. Both have no cure, but we have a vaccine. We are going to discuss all about that today. And this segment from the perspective of GS means paper, third and second, both. So these are the many topics that we are going to discuss step by step. We have a vaccine for measles and rubella as well how safe it is and what is the target that india has and why is it crucial what happened in 2022 there was an outbreak in maharashtra and is the target to eliminate mr achievable or not so let us move ahead first of all talk about the backdrop so india earlier had said to eliminate measles and rubella by 2020 because of lack of resources and later on the pandemic this was further you know situated the goal was situated to 2023 and in 2015 earlier it was earlier in uh, you know um, envisioned we can say that we would eliminate rubella by 2015 but recently in recently i can say three years back three to four years back so it was actually decided in 2019 that we do not have proper resources and then pandemic also kicked in so we thought that we are going to eliminate rubella by this year itself Moving ahead, now measles and rubella. Let's discuss about these two diseases. Both the diseases have rashes in common. Measles is a major childhood killer disease and rubella basically leads to birth defects which are lifelong in nature. They do not have any cure but there are vaccines available. And vaccines which are available, they can be employed both in routine immunization that is done on a basis monthly, yearly or whatever basis there is and in different campaigns as well. The sad part is that every year in India, nearly 2.7 million children get measles. And the symptoms have this diarrhea, pneumonia, and malnutrition. So it is actually against Article 21, right to life and liberty. Of course, against Article 19 as well, freedom of expression. Other than that, if you have any article in mind, you can comment in the comment section. Rubella transmission is also highly prevalent across many states in India. And this leads to if a pregnant woman has, uh, you know, has this particular issue, then spontaneous abortion, stillbirth and irreversible birth defects can also arise. Then if a child is born, then lifelong disabilities which affects multiple organs such as deafness, blindness, mental retardation even heart defects are also formed. Every year, over 40,000 children, they are born with such birth defects which are caused by congenital rubella syndrome. Remember this, this is for prelims. Now, we have a vaccine. Many people ask that if it is safe or not. See, these vaccines are excessively safe and effective. These are generally administered to children between year, nine months of age and less than 15 years of age, 9 to 15 years, 9 months and 15 years. So it has been, the vaccine has been in use for over 40 years, not only in India, but um, of course not in India, India it was pretty new, but for across the world, 40 years. And the current vaccine which is employed in the campaigns and in our immunization program, it has been produced in India only and it has been backed by WHO. Now, India's vaccine is used in Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Nepal and Myanmar as well. So, it is pretty safe. The current target which the Indian government has set is very crucial because of the sheer nature of measles and rubella. How much tolling it can be for our future, for our future that is our children. So, measles virus is one of the world's most contagious human virus. It kills more than 1 lakh children in every year when it comes to the global level. So, it is important that we eliminate this. Rubella is also a leading vaccine preventable cause of birth de defects. That means it is a cause of birth defect but it can be prevented if we you know administer the vaccine properly. Over the past two decades the measles vaccine uh, the measles vaccine is estimated to have averted or stopped more than 30 million deaths globally and also measles has a high fatality rate. Rubella infection in a pregnant woman will have impact on the fetus which results in birth defects as well. Moving ahead, now what happened in 2022 is pretty, pretty concerning. Because in October 2022, there was an outbreak of measles in Maharashtra, particularly in Mumbai, in which at least 15 children died. 
among several hundreds who contracted the infection. The problem here is when vaccines are available, this kind of news is pretty shameful for a country like India. A country like India which has administered so much vaccine with respect to adult programs such as the COVID-19 vaccine, this was pretty uh, shameful for India that in a country like ours, this news was there. And it actually equates to a phenomenon which is similar to COVID-19 infections coming up in China end of last year. Because the 2022 outbreak was like an epidemiological compensation. Epidemiological compensation means that there was actually an epidemic of measles that arose in India. But because of the COVID-19 thing, we could not administer that much of vaccination for those people who were impacted by measles and rubella. So it is important that we ramp up the herd immunity and ramping up the herd immunity happens a lot. In herd immunity, certain group of people might have received vaccination. So that means that they are uh, they will be less impacted from the virus and the infection. There is also another set of people who are already, who were already infected and now they might not be infected again or if they are infected again, if they are reinfected, they already have the immunity. So herd immunity is also important and ramping up the herd immunity in the population which along with a robust vaccination program, it will help achieve the necessary target. So vaccination plus infection is important if we have to achieve uh, you know, immunization from any sort of virus. So remember that. And if we have to talk about what has India done with respect to achieving the progress, first, the progress towards measles and rubella em elimination, India, the report which NVC said uh, the years from 2005 to 2021, it shows that during 2020, uh, sorry, 2010 and 2013, India basically conducted a phased measles catch up immunization. The a uh, catch up immunization was done in a phased manner. It was not done all at once, but phase one, phase two, phase three. And this was done for children uh, between the ages of nine months to 10 years in 14 states and vaccinating approximately 119 million children. So, India has done this much in the given data. Mission Indra Dhanush was launched in 2014 in order to ramp up the vaccination for the unvaccinated population. So that was during 2017 to 2021, in which India adopted a national strategic plan for measles and rubella elimination. So remember this. Now, rubella containing vaccine was given into the routine immunization program, like polio and all that. Nationwide measles rubella supplementary immunization activity was also introduced. So there were complementary and supplementary introduction of vaccine programination, which has helped India to avert so many deaths, not only in India, but globally as well. Outbreak, what do we need more? Outbreak sur based surveillance to case based accused fever and rash surveillance is important. Outbreak based surveillance means a region where outbreak has occurred or infections are being registered on the rise. So their surveillance is important. Other than that, if uh, at any places rashes and fever is also going on, there also surveillance is important to catch the disease. And also India more than doubled the number of laboratories in measles rubella work. So vaccination was important, surveillance was important and also tracking the pace of the virus is also important. So in order so that we might see that if the virus has changed so that we can upgrade our own vaccines and other things. Now is the current target achievable or not? It is. See, the main concern is under one year population. This is the main concern that we have to catch. And because of this, the tempo of immunization at 95%, the second dose coverage is very important. It means the first dose coverage has to be higher. Then only the second dose coverage can be targeted. Also, we have to ensure that we decentralize the entire process. We have to go district by district. And we have to achieve the rate of immunization on the basis of districts as uh, only. So that people can also, uh, the administration can also compare district by district cases. Also, we have to conduct a robust fever and rash surveillance program. Other than that, testing for measles and rubella has to be done. Many countries have achieved this, especially Sri Lanka, Maldives and South Korea. And in order to provide this kind of, uh, you know, in order to eliminate rubella and measles, we have to ensure that the ground level staff 
is well trained such as anganwadis ashas and the uh, you know community workers over there so they have to be well aware and well trained as well we also have to improve their conditions of service because a happier ground level staff will give us a happier and healthier population this is not what i am saying this has already been approved in tamil nadu and kerala where the condition of service was very better as compared to other regions okay so the a threat of infection anywhere is a threat everywhere this is one of the most you can say important topics you can get for essay if you have time you can write an essay on this it's a very good topic so let me take the names of those who have answered my last question correctly of in depth uh correct answer was option a department of economic affairs many of you have answered it correctly and vaishnavi puneet archana akhil chetan keshika pooja devi invention shreya anjali adarsh uh, dhwani leshram shivankit strangi rishab apart from them pranali also anuj pallavi kri ayushi also um, bhargavi koyal god's love sudha army girl then uh, surjit dhwani again uh, sagarika alka aarti mohammad sai anurag muniappa ms sangeeta and moni thank you so much for answering the last question you have to answer the next question again stay updated